Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about horn honkers. Yes, aggression on the roadway. I had a comment from Nathaniel, 1 to 10, and he wanted to know how to deal with people who honk their horns at you when you're learning how to drive. No doubt when you're learning how to drive, there's a great deal of social pressure from the other drivers on the roadway. You don't want to impede them, you don't want to make mistakes, and most of all, you don't want to look like a fool because it's embarrassing when you make mistakes on the roadway. Unfortunately, when we learn how to drive, you kind of get thrown into the deep end because there isn't any safe place that you can go. Now, if you're with the driving instructor or with a mentor or somebody like that, you should be working in a parking lot first and foremost before you even get out onto a roadway. Get comfortable with the primary controls, get comfortable doing slow speed maneuvers before you even begin to enter out onto a roadway. And do not go out and start working on complex intersections as the one behind me right away. Start off in quiet suburban areas, that way you can get used to going around corners, get used to right and left turns and those types of things. So horn honkers, how do we deal with horn honkers? First of all, when somebody honks their horn at you, know that it is going to happen when you're learning how to drive, not a matter of if it's going to happen. It is a matter of when it is going to happen. So know that it's going to happen. If you know that it's going to happen and other people are going to get upset with you when you're learning how to drive, they're going to honk. Even if you're in a driving school car, they still honk at you. So know that it's going to happen and it's just a matter of when it's going to happen. When it does happen, take a breath. Like my driving instructor said who taught me how to be a driving instructor, when people honk at you, they got three choices. They can wait for you, they can crash into you, which is probably not something they're going to do, or they can just simply go home and cool off because it's just a sign of aggression. And if you're learning, I know it's really hard, but you got to take a breath and carry on because you cannot get uh, pressured by other people and other drivers on the roadway and forced to go when you shouldn't go especially if you're making a left-hand turn at a complex intersection like the one behind me because if you go and the gap isn't sufficient you're going to end up in a crash and you're going to end up in a dangerous crash especially if you have a passenger in the vehicle because T-bone crashes are one of the most fatal crashes that we have in terms of uh, vehicle crashes and collisions now on our roadways. So know that on a left-hand turn, if you get pressured, don't succumb to that pressure. Take a breath and go when you feel comfortable or safe to go. And if you feel like that you just can't go and you can't deal with the pressure, abort the turn. Just go straight through and carry on. If you don't want to make a left-hand turn at a complex intersection and you feel your skills aren't there, then just go make three right-hand turns and then you can come back to the intersection and go straight through. That's another option that you have. So horn honkers, unfortunately in this day and age of social driving, it is simply a sign of road rage and other people who are impatient. And it's one of the hallmarks of social driving. So take a breath and focus on what you're doing, not on what other people are doing. They can go home exactly or wait for you so just know that they're just being idiots you need to focus on what you're doing so that is imperative when you're learning how to drive question for my smart drivers do you have any tips for new drivers learning how to drive and other people honking at them leave a comment down in the comment section there all of that helps out the new drivers learning how to drive i'm rick with smart drive test thanks very much for watching if you like what you see here share subscribe leave a comment down in the comment section as well hit that thumbs up button Check out all the videos here on the channel if you're working towards getting your license or starting a career as a truck or bus driver. Lots of great information here and good information over at my website as well and online courses that you can purchase. Stick around to the end of the video, funny bits and links to my other videos and to my website. Thanks again for watching. Good luck on your road test. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now you're going to end up in a crash and you're going to end up in a dangerous crash especially if you have a passenger in the vehicle because t-bone crashes are one of the most fatal crackle crashes and collisions now on our roadways so know that on a left-hand turn if you get pressured don't 